Hey guys, Rob here and welcome back to the channel. Well, I've got another model review for you guys today and what I've got to show you is the brand new Ignition Models Top Secret Nissan R34 GTR. Now, this model actually was around five weeks. It got lost somewhere during delivery. Uh, eventually it did turn up. Thankfully the model is safe, um, but the outer box and the ignition box uh, got a little bit of damage. So uh, I did buy this model through Car Lover Diecast in China, um, and he has been good enough to sort it out and send me some replacement packaging for the model. So uh, top service there from Car Lover Diecast. All right, let's get into this review. So uh, all the ignition resin models come in these uh, brown cardboard boxes with a little bit of ignition branding. Uh, this is just the outer box as the models actually come uh, in a inner box. Uh, as you can see here, I got a little bit of damage there, but he is replacing the box for me. Um, so they just come in these clear window boxes. They've got a hard plastic shell inside to protect the model. Uh, which works because that's what saved this model. Uh, only the packaging got damaged. Um, but this is the uh, infamous uh, R34 GTR from one of the uh, top tuning shops in Japan called Top Secret. So uh, this is definitely one of the most iconic R34 GTR skylines around. Uh, so definitely wanted to add this to my Nissan collection. So. Uh, we'll get this out of the box, um, unclip the plastic frame off the base and uh, have a bit of a closer look at it. Okay, so here we have the Ignition Models Top Secret Nissan R34 GTR. Now as I mentioned in the intro, this is probably one of the most iconic uh, Skyline GTRs in the world uh, and very famous livery uh, of Top Secret cars all in this gold colour. So overall, first impressions of the model, really, really good. Um, always have uh, very high quality paint on ignition models and they have lots of details as well. Uh, but we'll start with the base. So this is the base that the model comes on in the box. Uh, it's just a simulated carbon fiber effect, uh, but it does have a nice little uh, emblem here on the back of the model. Uh, and you can unscrew it from the base as well. So you can just undo those screws and remove the model. Uh, I do do that with the ignition models because it's so easy to remove these from the base. Um, but just for the sake of this uh, review, I'm going to leave it on the base. Okay, uh, as I said, the paintwork on this model is absolutely superb. Uh, really nice decals all over the body as well as it was their demo car for Top Secret. So uh, all the sponsor decals are all over the car which looks fantastic, no complaints there, and we've got some carbon fibre on here as well. But what we'll do, we'll start with the front of the car. So it does have some photo etch mesh either side and in the central intake here. The front splitter is just black on this model. Uh, they've done a pretty good job on the headlights here, and you've got your little GTR logo in the front grille as well. Uh, nice job on the side indicators and you also have this big front mount in a cooler too. Now there is a little uh, tow hook here, little photo etch metal one, that's nicely replicated. So overall the front of the car looks quite good, lots of detail. Now it does have a carbon fibre hood, uh, it's not full glossy but it's uh, a nice finish nonetheless uh, and it's got some more graphics on the hood as well, the Fusion uh, R logos which is um, something you see on all top secret cars. Now the stance of the model is really good, uh, I like that it sits nice and low, it's not too high off the ground uh, and I think they've done a really good job uh, with the aggression and the styling of this model. If we move around to the side of the car, we've got these side skirts here and we've got a side exit exhaust, maybe that's a screamer pipe, I'm not quite sure. Um, one thing I want to mention too that I mentioned with the last top secret R32 model is that uh, the windows on the front and the back are a lot thicker now. Uh, the older ignition models tended to uh, get a little bit of warping in the windows. Uh, it seems that they've rectified the issue with these uh, thicker windows. So only the side windows are the, the thinner material. Well, these ones actually are a little bit thicker. The last R32 GTR I reviewed had thinner side windows. Uh, this has harder side windows all the way around. 
Okay, nice job on the door handles, uh, the side mirrors, nice reflective material used behind in the mirrors. As I mentioned, the windows are now solid and they're super, super clear. You can see through those very well. We move around to the back of the car. We've got this giant GT wing. Now this is all finished in gloss black uh, and they've done a nice job on the wing legs as well. Now the boot lid is also carbon fibre too. Uh, it's just a satin carbon fibre, not gloss, but that looks really good. Uh, and if we move to the back of the model, they've done a really good job on the tail lights as well, uh, GTR logos. Uh, you've got your big Canon exhaust muffler in the back here, which looks really good. Uh, and the little reverse lights also look pretty good as well. It's also wearing the top secret number plate. Uh, you can also see the big gloss black rear diffuser underneath as well. Uh, so overall that completes the, uh, the aero package for this top secret model. Now you do also have these uh, extra little side spats down here which is part of the top secret rear bumper. Um, but overall I think they've done a really good job uh, simulating this car. As I mentioned, the paintwork is just absolutely superb, super glossy. Uh, the decals are on top of the paintwork. They're not under the clear like, uh, say, Davis and Giovanni models. Um, but it is very hard uh, in, in the flesh to see the edges of the decals. So they are using really, really high quality decals uh, for these models. And the results are definitely worth it. So we've got a few more decals on the model as well. So we've got a top secret window banner here on the front window, uh, and we've also got a top secret uh, decal on the rear window. Uh, of course, it's wearing the C1 numbers on the quarter windows. Uh, and the back window is really, really dark tinted black, uh, and it's got a little plastic windscreen wiper here. So uh, overall, I think they've done a really, really good job. These are about in the middle uh, price range uh, between a GT Spirit and say a BBR model. So uh, they are resin, they are sealed, uh, but they're somewhere in the middle. So these, these cost me Australian dollars uh, around $350. So um, they're about in the middle between the GT Spirit and the BBR. But yeah, overall, fantastic job by Ignition, I think, on this model. And what they really excel at is the aftermarket wheels on these models. So uh, this, of course, is running the Volk TE37 rims in gold with the polished lip. Uh, really good job on those wheels. They look fantastic, and they've got the little decals on the spokes as well. Uh, you've got the little silver center caps and your black wheel nuts. Tires are really good as well, front and rear. Uh, and they also do a fantastic job on the brake calipers and the brake rotors front and rear also. So as I mentioned earlier, the stance is spot on. Uh, what car doesn't look good with the TE37s? Uh, just overall a really, really tough looking uh, GTR Nissan. So that pretty much covers all the details of the exterior of the model, I think. Uh, so what we'll have a look at now is the interior. So most of the interior is in black. Uh, all the dashboard is black, center console black, door trims, roof lining, uh, seats are black, uh, but they are wearing the uh, bright green Takata harnesses, which re look really good. Uh, and if you can see that in camera, there's actually a stereo system in the back. So on the rear parcel shelf, there is a silver amplifier. Uh, and there's a couple of subwoofers in there as well. There's no back seat. The back seat has been removed, um, but it does have a an amplifier and some speakers, which is uh, something you don't always see in these models. Now, I'm not sure whether you can see through the driver's window, but there's actually a cluster of four gauges on the dashboard on the passenger side. A uh, little bit of extra tuning there with some more gauges. But other than that, the majority of the interior is all black and it's quite hard to show you guys what's inside. But hopefully you can see some of that and there's not too much glare on the windows. But yeah, overall, um, I'm really happy with this model. I'm glad it arrived safely with no damage and uh, I've still got two more of these gold 
top secret models coming. So I've got the R33 and the R35. So uh, if you haven't checked out my review of the car before this one, the R32, go and check out that review. Um, but if you're interested in the R33 and the R35 as well, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those models when they arrive. Um, but overall, yeah, as I said, always pretty happy with ignition models. Um, they really are the kings of JDM models. Uh, no one makes a bigger variety of JDM models than ignition. Uh, so pretty much any model you want to buy uh, from the JDM scene, ignition make it. Except for Nissan Z cars, I have to say. Uh, I'm a bit uns upset about that, but they really don't seem to do Nissan Z cars. But everything else, RX-7s, Toyotas, everything, Supras, Skylines, uh, they make them all. So go and check out your like, nearest stockist for uh, ignition models, or go and have a look where I bought this one from, um, www.cldc.store. Uh, that's Car Lover Diecast store in China. He has got a massive range of ignition models, uh, and I'm sure there's one there that uh, you might find interesting. So uh, I think that's going to wrap up today's review of this ignition top secret Nissan R34 GTR. Uh, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? If you like the video, smash that like button uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media as well. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram and I also have an eBay store where I do sell some models on. Uh, all the links to those three pages are on the home page of this YouTube channel. So go and check that out. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's review. Uh, I've got a few more to film after this one so I'll have plenty more model reviews for you guys uh, all the way up until Christmas. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.